This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where it's time to play Ray Tracers, which is like Chase HQ in the future, so you know this game's gonna be good. So you like Chase HQ? Well, you're gonna love Ray Tracers, a 1996 release for the Sony PlayStation. This is the Japanese version. Choose your car and driver, then prepare to run over enemies and destroy end bosses for big points. It's like your morning commute, except even awesomer. Your objective is simple, make it to the boss battle as quickly as possible so you have time to spare, crash into them until they explode and earn points along the way all with a giant smile on your face. Ray Tracers is a lot of fun, even if it's simple. And relatively short, good news, this is also available in the West and it's really, really cheap. Your car doesn't take damage, but you will be slowed down if the enemies shoot you or you run into the sides of the road. And you'll lose the level if time runs out. Save your nitro, for the boss battles, you've only got a limited supply of that. Driving wise, race, race, I was gonna say race storm. I just reviewed race storm and talked about ray force and ray crisis, but this is ray tracers. Taito loves their ray games. Not to be confused with ray storm in ray tracers, you're driving one of four cars, not flying spaceships. But there's enemies waiting to be destroyed, except instead of locking onto them with homing lasers, you're going to crash into them repeatedly until they explode. <laughs> it's a fun game. Sadly, it's not very long though. There's only five levels. And I beat the game like the third time I played it, so. There's not a whole lot to it. It's, it's just good fun for a short while. But wait, you're not just destroying cars and trucks, there's also hovercrafts and airplanes and monster trucks to destroy by running into them. This is the green car, which is the slowest but strongest, and, and in this game you definitely want strength over speed. As you can see on screen, Ray Tracers looks good and runs smoothly for a PlayStation 1 era driving game. I'm enjoying this on my PlayStation 2, my Japanese PS2, with component cables to bring the most out of the game. I, uh, I actually really like it. It's not a fancy game. There's, there's no surprises. You just run into things until they explode. There's also a time attack mode. The only replay value you'll get is the scoring system. Uh, if you take your time to destroy all the enemies on the track, you'll score more points, but then that leaves you less time to blow up the end bosses. Not that most of them are really all that tough anyway. The driving style is purely an arcade driving style, as you can probably tell. For less than 10 bucks, if you can find a copy of Ray Tracers, I recommend it. I think, it, I think it's good fun for a short while. I wish there was more to it, but you know, it's a neat game for the era, and you, you do transform into a robot. Oh, no, I can't give away the ending, so you'll, you'll just have to wait and see. There's robots. And Daft Punk. Good times in Ray Tracers. So I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to Christoph of Arnstadt, Germany. Thank you for sending Ray Tracers to the show in space. The end race is a, is a bit tough, but but I got through it, took a couple tries in the slow car, and the ending cutscene is totally worth it, especially if you like Prowl from the Transformers. Yeah. 